traditionally, uh, response to standard chemotherapy for advanced metastatic melanoma has been disappointing. Uh, response rates have been relatively low, complete response rates have been very infrequent, and the duration of response has been quite short. Uh, as you know, recently there are three or four different strategies that, have, that are emerging uh, principally out of intensive molecular research going into clinical trial and soon hopefully into clinical practice, which ought to change our way of thinking about the management of metastatic melanoma. Uh, the first of these, and hopefully the most imminent, is, this, is a drug called ipilimumab. This is a drug which takes the breaks off of the patient's own immune system and lets that immune system recognize melanoma as a foreign invader, if you will, uh, and, and to kill the, and in some patients, to actually kill that melanoma. Now, in early clinical trials, the addition of ipilimumab to a uh, standard vaccine or ipilimumab alone have shown improved response rates and improved long-term survival in patients with advanced metastatic melanoma. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that although the response rates are not as high as we would like them to be, as with other clinical trials of immunotherapy, uh, when a patient has a response, it tends to be very long-lasting. Uh, this attests to the power of the innate immune system, and we're quite optimistic that this will be an important part of uh, the treatment patients with advanced melanoma in, in, uh, in the years ahead. There are two other strategies that are being developed, one other strategy, two other agents. This goes to the issue of targeted therapy. Patients with specific mutations within their melanoma may be uh, candidates for specific targeted therapy. Uh, the first of these are patients with BRAF mutations, which occur in over half of patients uh, in, with melanomas arising from non-chronically sun-damaged skin. The BRAF inhibition of this in patients who have this mutation can result in response rates of in excess of 50%. Uh, these response rates are far higher than anything we've ever seen with conventional chemotherapy. Uh, the problem is they're not as long lasting as we'd like them to be and the next avenue of research is to how, how to identify resistance and how to treat patients with resistant disease. And then the third emerging strategy also another targeted agent has to do with targeting of patients with what's called the CKIT mutation. These are patients principally with melanomas arising uh, from the hands or palms of the hands or soles of the feet or mucosal melanoma. Those patients harbor a higher incidence of CKIT mutations and the administration of a drug which we are familiar with, Gleevec, a drug which we've used in GIST and CML, uh, to these patients results in a small but significant response rate, certainly in excess of anything we have seen with systemic therapy. I expect that there will be other targets identified in the years ahead uh, that will, uh, targets for treatment that will augment anything we have uh, seen with systemic treatment alone.